Is your property yours? Not if government takes it, and it can for what it calls public use. Eminent domain law has long allowed politicians to grab your property to build roads, railroad tracks, border walls, which helps explain why President Trump told Brett Baer. I think eminent domain is wonderful. I get it that a highway or a border wall is public use. But 13 years ago, the Supreme Court ruled that New London, Connecticut could bulldoze this little pink house to make room for a new business development. An eminent domain. They can take your home, they can take your land. In this movie, Catherine Keener plays Suzette Kilo, the owner of that little pink house, here learning that she has no right to her own property. How could somebody break into my house? and take everything I have and go to jail. Oh, you could shoot them. I could shoot them. I could kill them. But if they want the whole thing, it's perfectly legal. The law does require the government to give you fair value for your property. But the bureaucrats decide what fair value is. Mrs. Kilo, I have great news. They've agreed to increase their offer by $10,000. Suzette Kilo didn't want the money. She wanted to keep her home. But the government said no. So the bulldozers came. Ninety families left. Suzette and six others refused to leave. While this was going on, I interviewed the real-life Kilo. We were backed into corners, like animals in a corner. I gave the city's lawyer a hard time about that. Any group of politicians can kick you out of your home. Well, that's true. But that's true if you want to put up a road, for example. The question is, is this serving an important public purpose? And we say it is. It's given them a lot of power. Yes, that's true. A libertarian law firm, the Institute for Justice, took Suzette's case all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court, where Justice Sandra Day O'Connor pushed back against the taking. Say you had a Motel 6, and the city says, well, if we had a Ritz-Carlton, we would have higher taxes. Now, is that okay? Yes, Your Honor, that would be okay. So you can take from A to give to B if B pays more taxes? If it is a significant amount, yes. Suzette's lawyer responded this way. The one thing that all poor neighborhoods share is that they don't produce much tax revenue. If the court affirms the lower court's decision, then you would put poor neighborhoods and working class neighborhoods like Fort Trumbull in jeopardy. He was right, but the Supreme Court ruled five to four against Suzette. U.S. Supreme Court today affirmed the power of local governments to seize private property. The decision alarmed people across America. Some states passed laws limiting their politicians' right to grab your property. In New London, people rallied around Suzette. Thank you all for fighting so hard. But that fight was over. They'd lost. Years later, I went with Suzette Kilo to look at the place New London said was going to be a booming development. This is my stairs, and, um, and I had a long porch, and this is where the house was. The city said they had to tear the houses down because development would happen. Tax revenues, all kinds of cool new things, and yet this is what they got. No hotel or upscale housing, no conference center, no nothing. Kilo's house has been torn down and the lot where it once stood is vacant. It's still empty. Even today, 13 years later, there's no development. It's just unused land. The politicians were wrong. This movie is a good reminder of just how powerful and wrong politicians often are.